students, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. My name is Maya Salvidea and this afternoon I'm going to talk briefly about an overview of literature from English-speaking countries. First of all, British literature. It starts with Anglo-Saxon literature. It's also called Old English. Anglo-Saxon period. The most important work of this period is Beowulf, written in Old English. Then we have the Middle English period in the Middle Ages, and the most important work at that period is The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. These are sad stories about pilgrims and married couples. It is based on Boccaccio's Decameron. It has a satirical tone. Then we move to the most important period, which is the Romantic period in the 19th century. It starts with lyrical ballads by Coleridge, Wordsworth, and then we also have romantic novels such as Guthrie Heights by Emily Bronte. And then there is a short period of Gothic fiction, and the main author of this period is Anne Radcliffe, with the mysteries of Udolpho. We have then Victorian literature, which is a long period, the long Victoria era, which uh, is the historical period of the Queen Victoria in England. The most important novelists at that time were Charles Dickens, William Thackeray, Charlotte and Emily Bronte, And then we are going to move to the modernist period. Before the modernist period, we have the period uh, in which the modern novel starts with Joseph Conrad, Heart of Darkness, and Rudyard Kipling. Then modernism starts. Virginia Woolf in Cezanne's painting um, exhibition in Paris, she said, on or about 1910, the world changed. She referred to the change in art and literature. The most important novel that uh, shows the difference in the way of writing is Ulysses by James Joyce, published in 1922. Important novels are also Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf, also, other important authors of the modernist period are D. H. Lawrence, which uses symbolism in his novels, others um, important authors. And then we have postmodernist period, which is like a revolution and it follows and it breaks with the modern period. Postmodernist um, authors of the, that we can um, emphasize uh, uh, postmodernist um, in England are Anthony Burgess, for example, the author of the uh, Clockwork Orange, and John Falls with the novel of the um, of the French uh, lieutenant woman. Then we have li Irish literature. Irish literature uh, author, the most famous are Oscar Wilde and also the poet W.B. Yeats. He created and founded the Abbey Theatre with Lady Gregory. A famous uh, novel also is Dracula by Bram Stoker, Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw, and Man and Superman, and important plays by Oscar Wilde, like the importance of being earnest. In Irish literature in the 20th century, we can emphasize Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett and June and the Peacock by Son O'Casey. When we want to distinguish between different periods, we can say that it depends on the, um, when we talk about the modern period, it depends on the words. We're going to distinguish. Modernist literature uh, is located after the First World War. 
and postmodernist is considered to be literature after the Second World War. If we want to emphasize uh, authors from Scottish literature, we emphasize Robert Louis Stevenson with the Treasure Island and the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde Gothic novel, and also J.M. Berry, Peter Pan. Finally, Moril Spark, the prime of Miss uh, Jan Brody. If we want to emphasize the most important um, literary periods, uh, literature that you will find more interesting in American literature is uh, the Beat Generation, which is literature from the 60s and and is the period of hippie movement. So writers, they used meditation, they were interested in Buddhist philosophy and psychedelia and road trips. A famous author of that period is Jack Kerouac with On the Road and Allen Ginsberg poem, Howl. A very famous um, writer of that period is also William Burroughs and, and Cummins. In the contemporary period, we find um, Sylvia Plath, Toni Morrison, Thomas Pynchon, Amy Tan. In Canadian literature, the most important authors that we know are Margaret Atwood. Um, we know her uh, because uh, recently we have the TV series The Handmaid's Tale, and this is why many famous pe many people know the novel nowadays. But the novel uh, was published a uh, long time ago, um, in the 70s. Uh, Margaret Atwood is a very important famous writer in Canada. She wrote novels and, and, and poetry, and she's still... Um, producing a lot of works nowadays. Another important author of Canadian literature is Leonard Cohen, the musician. And to finish, I would like to talk about a little bit about electronic literature. What's electronic literature? It's digitally born. It's literature that authors make using a computer. You cannot find it printed because in electronic literature, the authors use multimedia elements such as audio, images, motion. There are many different genres of electronic literature. We can find, for example, electronic poetry, flash fiction, block novels. And important authors of electronic literature are Scott Redberg, Susan Gibb, other authors um, in, in the literary criticism are Catherine Hales, for example. And also we find in in electronic literature, we find a posthumanist theory and cyborg theory too. Other important authors of electronic literature are Susan Gibb and John Cayley. Well, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.